This is the Night Wolf howling at you, and today we're going to be taking a look at a set of minifigures for Spy X Family. Plus power. I found these at a shop that was selling them uh, 5 bucks each, or of course 5 for 20 And since buying four of them would cost 20 bucks, I decided to pick out a fifth one, and that was power. Because there honestly wasn't a huge selection of anything else that I really wanted there. So, let's take a look at the different minifigures that we got. We will start here with Anya. She is, looks like she's in her standard clothing, not her school uniform. Uh, I'm not sure what this little deal is up here because I don't recall that being on her character model. Although maybe that's where the uh, um, plastic was poured in. And of course, uh, as with most Lego minifigure type stuff, stuff pops off. However, we've got Anya's face this way. And we've got Anya's surprised face. Articulation-wise, standard leg articulation, the hands, arms rotate around and pop off. And of course, the hands spin around. The legs are, of course, the short ones, so they don't actually have any articulation at all for the child size. In this case, I don't know if this really makes a difference, but she had an extra large kind of plate for her. Next, let's bring out Lloyd. This version of Lloyd comes with a pistol. Not any design I've ever seen with any other Lego minifigure. What's really nice here is there is a lot of detail here on his shoes. Like, ridiculous on the side. And on the front. Also a lot of good detail here on the body itself. And he's even got the little buttons on the side. His articulation is standard leg articulation. The legs move like so. Comes apart. The hand spins around, although his head gets in the way of it going all the way around. And of course, the and itself spins. Did I just call the arm a hand? Our, our Lloyd here also comes with a battle damaged head. Or after one of his, um, let's just say counseling sessions where he's using the, uh, what was it they called it? The punch method in the show. Now we have Yor. Yor comes with her, or in this case, came with her two little stabby weapons. And I do like that they are giving her the, uh, attempting to make it look like she's got a waistline. Um, I've been noticing that Lego has been not doing that themselves very often lately. And that's kind of sad. Overall, though, the detail on her is pretty good. Um, like with the other figures, she's got kind of like her, I guess this would be an angry slash neutral expression and a slightly happy expression. They also did a really good job giving her cleavage. Uh, unlike the other ones, she comes with an additional part. So it so goes to show you these aren't official Legos because that's not right. So her skirt piece is a separate part here, and they actually gave her sexy underwear <laughs> underneath, which by the way, kind of matches up with the top, so it does look like it goes together. I've got her on backwards. right? 
But yeah, so it kind of lines up so that if you want, you can have her be kind of sexy without the skirt. I think that's actually, honestly, kind of a nice detail, but I would kind of like to see them, whoever did this, I'd like to see them actually just go ahead and make a uh, full lingerie version. Her hair is also more detailed than most with her little uh, front hair bits and the uh, decorations on the side. I will say this, I am honestly concerned about breaking these. So uh, I don't see myself messing with that too often in the future. Overall, my favorite one out of the bunch. Here we have your at home. Same hair as the previous version. She's got two expressions. She's got kind of like the wide happy one. And then kind of a surprised expression. Again, they did their best to make her dress look um, with her form by darkening the sides to have it stand out more. Uh, her shoes not quite as detailed as Lloyd's were. But they do actually have details on the back. Also, if you look, they've got the little cutout back here that's on her dress going for more details. And I'm not sure if that's supposed to be the top of her butt crack or not. Um, I don't recall really seeing that or if that's just supposed to be like her you know, just defining her back a little more. I do think we will keep her with her more happy expression, however. And finally, because I needed a fifth figure, I went with, like I said, Power from Chainsaw Man. This figure comes with a rather wicked looking uh, clear red scythe, which I think might actually be supposed to be representing that it's made out of blood but it's been a while I have not watched the anime but I read the manga a long time ago when it first came out and I don't remember what her powers all are or if these are just random weapons that they decided to give her she's also got a big old hammer so she can call forth hammer space she's also got a rather unique hair set here goes all over her face we got her devil horns a lot of detail in her clothing. Mm, and you can even see the hoodie back there. But she's also got two different faces. Though I am not entirely sure what this face here is supposed to represent. And I also hope that I'm not so close to the thing that uh, I've blurred everything out. Anyway is just a quick look at uh, a set of minifigures that I picked up recently. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace and love.